Hello star seeds and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back friend. So as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, this is the earth sign element reading. Okay, so um, if you are a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I almost said Libra, a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um this reading is for you this is just for the rest of may um just to check in see what the energy is like i do know you know it's Taurus season you know everybody on their bullshit um everybody's being very vocal about a lot of things Taurus rules the throat so you know if 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 it's no other time now is the time to really express how you feel uh verbally and um you know as well as mercury retrograde a lot of things just a retrograde the eclipse like everything has been really heavy i've been extremely tired um so really just trying to keep myself upbeat and, and staying afloat okay um but i i really only do readings when i'm called to i would like to be on a schedule um i typically do you know plan to you know i want to put readings out there i want to put readings out there but if that's the plan and then i i don't feel like it energetically i won't do it um so that's just a little bit how I operate. I'm, I only work with spirit when I'm willing to and when I have the capability to do so. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to get right into your reading because um, I was definitely called to do this today. So that's why we're here. Um, starting out earth signs. Okay. Once again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Okay. Um, I started out with the shopper cards. So the first card out was Joy. We got joy and enlightenment, okay? Um, I feel like this message is specifically for Taurus since this is your um, this is your season. We are in your, um, it is Taurus season right now. Um, definitely stepping in, and this could go for the other signs as well, but definitely stepping into, you know, some inner joy, some inner, enlight some inner enlightenment just with it, you know, you gaining an another year of life. You're becoming wiser, you're becoming smarter, um, and you're basking in it, okay? You have, you're having this fresh aura, this fresh glow about you, um, and, and new learnings about yourself that's taking you on to your next journey um, and opening up this next chapter for you. Um, and, and you're just kind of, you know, you're living in that right now. You're living in this bliss and just um, this higher knowing, kind of tapping into yourself a lot deeper, um, tapping into some, you know, some higher, deeper thoughts um, just about life in general. Um, so that's overall greatness. Um, next it does get a little sad we got grief here um and with this it can go two ways um first i do want to say to anybody that out that is out there that has lost someone i did pick up like inheritance too um because with um clarifying grief we got the six of pentacles and the ten of cups so there is um so part of this is actual grief from losing someone um and it could be a, 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 like an older family member a grandmother a grandparent or so to where they had stuff to leave behind um and and you know you it, it could be a, it could be a battle right now but it's it's just like live in the happiness of it right now celebrate their life because that's what they would want you know they're definitely at rest and they're definitely at peace um we do have a lot of tens i know i'm probably jumping around we do have a lot of tens um Start, it starts with 10s and it ends with 10s um, in this spread. And that's a restart number for me. That's definitely a restart. Um, and, and, and with the two, we got two 10 of cups here too. So that's just overall fulfillment, okay? Um, after grief, we got destiny. So this 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 ten is kind of riding out to end to get to your destiny. Um, that that restart. It's like okay, you done. You completed the course. You com you completed this one. Now it's on to the next. It's, now it's time to level up. I feel like that's that's a, a bigger a, a main thing. Um, if you don't get anything else from this reading, it's it's you're going through a level up phase. Okay, you're going through a leveling a leveling up period, and it's not pretty. It's not it's not nice. Um, it's not all love and light. Once again, it is kind of dark. Um, it does have its good and bad. It does have its time. That's why these they're wearing black and white. This is one person. Okay, and it, and it's going to the calling. Is is it's going to the the destiny. It takes both. Okay, it takes the good and the bad to get to where you're trying to go um, and understanding how they intertwine and how they work together. Um, bad, not necessarily being bad. Bad can, can be protection. Black, you know, black energy, dark energy can, can be protection. It can be awareness. It can be discernment. It could just be the all, all um, 
black can be the void. So if you're in the void and you're unseen, you know what I'm saying? But everybody can't see that when you're there. I don't know how I don't know how else to ex explain that. But if you if you hear, you hear, okay? Um so then we have 19 fallen fallen angels spiritual narcolepsy okay so with this you may be feeling like you're a little out of whack you may be feeling like you're a bit unconnected or um you know just not where you want to be more so some some air energy which is you know that mercury retrograde energy um but once again that 19 breaks down to a 10 as well okay so really just kind of getting yourself back on track under that we got the ten of wands and the five of pentacles so this once again is that dark energy is that that being uncomfortable okay being uncomfortable to get to where you're trying to go um making sacrifices really you know it's, it's staying down until you come up staying down until you come up being uncomfortable making the sacrifices you know because you know where your destiny is you know your goals you know your dreams you know your aspirations you're the only one that can has to take that leap to get you there okay and you can't get there middle of the spread middle of the spread you can't get there giving your all to everyone else it's time to give your all to you it's time to be a little bit selfish it's time to kind of like take your hand back and pour into you nine of cups you got to look yourself in the mirror you got to emotionally fulfill yourself before anyone else can and you um being so generous you you always being there to give your time money love attention affection whatever conversation it's now time for you to give all of that same energy back into yourself fulfill yourself because once you once you have self-fulfillment once once you are good you're going to vibrate with whatever you're vibing on so if you don't love yourself, if you don't tend to yourself, if you don't care for yourself, you're not really going to vibe any with, with, you know, that like energy. Because after nine of cups, we got ten of cups. Twice. Okay? So that's overall fulfillment. Overall emo emotional fulfillment. Okay? You're good. The people around you are good. Your, your kids are good. The house is good. Your family's good. Everybody is just living in bliss. Okay? It's like, okay, we, we reached the other side of the rainbow. Get into where you to, to where you're trying to go. And that's once again destiny. This is all the, the last three cards. Destiny and two ten of cups. So you 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 can already see it. It's like right now you're sitting like in the middle of the rainbow and you can see the other side, but it's all about okay, what what works what work needs to be done now for me to get there. Okay, and a big part of that is taking back some of your time, taking back some of your energy, you know, taking taking things back because if you only have a hundred percent and you're giving away seventy five, that twenty five isn't enough to keep your momentum going to keep you to get to the other side. So sometimes we have to really look at ourselves like, okay, what am I doing for me? What, am, what, what, what can I do for me? What more can I do for me to get me to where I'm trying to go? Because right now you're in a dark, cold space right now. Or you or you was, you know, you're coming out of it. Okay, so that turnaround period is like, okay, I know what I need to do now. Um, Self-care, affirmations, tending to myself, you know, um, doing things that make me happy and not just thinking about everyone else's happiness first. You know, and it's okay to be a little selfish. It's okay for that. Um, so we're going to do a crystal card since this is an element reading. Let's see. Okay, I might mess this up. This is how you say it. Um, Chrysocola. Earth, unconditional love, cleanse. Known for cleansing the aura of toxins, Chrysocola is a great crystal to use when experiencing high stress levels and burnout. The surface of Chrysocola resembles pristine oceanic views and the aerial vantage point helps you helps you gain perspective on situations hitting too close to home. Take a step back when those situations arise and remember to prioritize your needs first. Wow. What did I just say? What did I just say? I can't, I cannot make this up. Oh my God. Remember to uh, prioritize your needs first. Deeply connected to the energy of the earth. 
Carso Cola reminds us to keep in touch with our feminine side, the part of us connected to our capacity for unconditional love. Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Venus. Wow. Wow. And I'm going to have this up in the um, at the end of the video so you can, like, in the picture of it. But, yeah, that's crazy. See, that's why I love these other cards, too, because they really... They add so much to the reading. It's, it's like putting the icing on the cake. Um, yes, Earth signs. I feel grand. I feel like a weight has been lifted off of my heart. So whoever's been touched out there by this reading, um, I thank you and I appreciate you for watching. Um, we a tribe. We a tribe. Okay. If you were called to watch this, it was for a reason. Um, take which take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Um, and I appreciate you all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave, be sure to leave a like and a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below if this resonated with you. And share it to all your social media platforms. Love you guys. Bye.